All right, I have decided the next thing I'm going to do is sand the handle. So I'm going to start with an 80 grit flapper wheel on my Dremel tool. Next step is I'm going to keep sanding the handle to get it nice and smooth, good surface. And uh, so I'm going to use 120 grit and then 220 grit. fun part, burning the wood.
I did one light sanding over the top of it after I finished torching it and it cooled off just to smooth it back out because it had um, the heat had caused some of the resin to rise out of it. Uh, so now I'm going to do a coat of pink oil. Probably not what you're supposed to use, but it's what I have. So that's what's going to happen. soak in for a little bit see how it does So I'm actually going to try something a little bit different with this axe uh, hatchet, whatever you want to call it. Um, on the last one, I blackened the background with some paint, a mixture. I wasn't super happy with it. I mean, it worked, but I wasn't super happy with it. So I actually got some gun blue that I'm going to try to paint the background with. Um, I'm playing it safe. This is actually acid that etches it and you have to clean it off. So I'm actually wearing gloves, which I normally don't do, but I figured it might be smart. So. Let's see what happens. Okay, I went ahead and rinsed off this first section because there was a section over here where it wasn't taking. Um, apparently I didn't get it cleaned good enough, so I have cleaned it again with rubbing alcohol and rinsed it with water. I'm letting it dry a little bit and then we're going to give it another shot from the other end and we will see what happens.
looks after one coat of the bluing. Um, I like it, but I think I'm going to have to do a couple more coats, most likely. But I'm not going to make you wait through that. So, probably just going to go ahead, turn the camera off, and get to it and do this side and the other side. So, I'll show you the results shortly. Alright, time to do a little bit of polishing, and then I may still add some leather to it. I may not. I actually really like the way the handle turned out all on its own, so I may just leave it as it is. Here we go. actually got about six coats of mink oil on the handle and it's turned out really nice and it's already pretty water resistant so I'm not worried about doing much more of that just if it starts to wear a little bit I'll put another coat on it and I'm just using the same oil on the axe head because ideally if I can oil it with just one type of oil that would be better it's easier if nothing else Alright, there you have it. This is how you turn a cheap hatchet off of Amazon. Into a Viking style hatchet that will look great with a costume at the Renaissance Festival or, you know, just if you want one to use because you're like that. I may very well end up using this one. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys.